Hi, I want to talk to you about why you should vote and what you should be thinking about while you're making your choice and who to vote for. I want to start off by saying I am an American. Uh, people would say that I'm a Democrat. I would say that I'm a nonpartisan member of the United States of America because I don't follow a party, nor do I think that our president should be one person and we should just put all of our faith into one person because it's our government, it's a democracy, we have our say, and therefore I don't need to follow any party member. That being said, I think it's very important for young Americans to understand that it's not who you vote for, it's what you're voting for. I'm not pro-Romney, I'm not pro-Obama, I'm pro-America in the direction that I want my children in, to grow up in America in. You know, I'm pro the future of America. And people are going to say that I'm leaning biasly towards Obama, but I'm going to explain myself right now before I have to talk about anything else. I am for, I'm voting for Obama because he represents the kind of country I want my children to grow up in. If my children are gay... I want them to be able to get married. I want them to have the same rights when they go visit their loved ones in the hospital. I want them to be accepted. I mean, you know, it was only like in the last hundred years did women get the right to vote, did black people become, you know, like, we just fought for our rights, so I don't see why we should be taking the rights away from anyone else. It's the same struggle. Equality for all is the only way to go. That's why I'm voting towards Obama. I want my kids to be in a world where no matter what color their skin is, who they love, anything about their personal choices and or sexual orientation or sexual identity that they should feel they should feel like this is their country too and that's why I'm voting for Obama not because I'm pleased with everything that Obama's done I pretty much think that he tried to please everyone in office because he wanted to get reelected so he didn't do a lot of things that he promised me but I also know that no matter who you vote in they're not going to be able to do everything that they promised because guess what if you vote a Democrat in, there's going to be Republicans in, in Congress that are just not going to agree with them. And, and not everything that the Democrats are going to want to get through are going to get through because they're going to be able to stop them. I want that to be said, too. And, uh, you know, vice versa. You know, Mitt Romney has very strong points to me in his debate because I actually watched the debate. I'm talking to you because I'm an educated voter and I want you to be an educated voter, too. If you haven't watched the debates and you just think that Romney won, if you actually watched the debate, you would know that no one won. It was a pissing contest in which nothing was really said and Mitt Romney became a different person than what he's been campaigning for. And I think that's really important to know, too. Now, I'm not saying he's a bad guy, but I'm just saying, you know, if we can't trust him during a debate, how are we supposed to trust him in the Oval Office? Like, I I can't trust him. He changed everything that he said he was... I, I, just going to let that one go, on top of the fact that he insulted Big Bird. No, I'm just kidding. That's not really important at all. Um, I just want young Americans to know that you need to have a reason to vote. It's not about who, it's about what you vote for. And that's what's important in this election. This is my first election, the only one that I've uh, been allowed to vote, because I just, you know, I wasn't 18 during the last one. I just want people to understand that you're voting for something not for someone. One person can't hold up our government. It's not all on their shoulders. It's on our shoulders. And if you're not going to vote because you don't like either one of them, where where do you feel, what do you feel about America? You should feel something for the country that you live in. No matter where I go, no matter what I do, I will be an American. And I'm proud to be an American. Even when we aren't doing exactly what I think we should be doing in the world, I am proud to be American and I can never be anything else. And I want you to know that you're voting for America, not for Mitt Romney, not for Obama, not for Ron Paul, not for anyone. You can write your own name in there. You're not voting for yourself. You're voting for America and the future of America, and that is what's important. And I just, I just want you to vote. Even if you're not voting for Obama, vote, because your voice is important. Democracy is democracy when we all have our voices heard. And if you're not going to vote, then I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go get a piece of tape, Put it across your mouth and shut the fuck up. And then I want you to shut the fuck up for the next four years when our president doesn't do what you want him to be doing. Because when you had the choice to speak up and have your voice heard, you shut it down. So in the next four years, I want you to continuously shut down because you either shut down or start doing something about it. If you're not going to vote for the principle of not voting, then you should just be quiet because you don't have any say in our government. You don't want your voice heard. I just want everyone to know what you're voting for. It's not who. It's what. So when you walk in to vote, just keep in mind, you know, 
it's 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 really about what the person has to say and how they stood by what they've said so far. It's not about who. It's not about who's cuter. I've heard a lot of girls on YouTube saying how like Mitt Romney's cute. Okay, well, you know, some people believe that Barack Obama's cute too. I personally think Bill Clinton's the cutest and we should vote him back in, but I have no say in that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to say it's what you're going for. When you walk in, know what you're voting for and not who. Because one person doesn't hold up the whole country. Thank you.